British Army restructure sees hundreds of tanks and troops return to Germany after withdrawal less than a year ago. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace announced the reforms in the House of Commons today, which included shrinking the army to a size not seen since Napoleonic times. He also announced a new Ranger Regiment as part of a shift to specialist capabilities. The UK will base hundreds of tanks and fighting vehicles in Germany and rotate more troops on exercises through the country barely a year after withdrawing a large Cold War era presence. The mini U turn, part of a major modernization plan for the Army unveiled by the Defence Secretary on Thursday, will see Germany becoming one of three new regional land hubs for the Army. Along with Oman and Kenya. The aim is for more troops to be deployed to different parts of the globe for longer, training with partner forces for months rather than the current exercise schedules of weeks, to strengthen relations with allies and deter threats from states such as Russia and China. The renewed presence in Germany will also mean the UK can respond faster to any Russian, or other, attack on a European NATO member state. Ben Wallace, speaking in the House of Commons, also set out what the army will look like as it shrinks to 73,000 by 2025 from a target strength of 82. Oh, 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 its smallest size since Napoleonic times, to save money. Though the reduction is 500 soldiers fewer than initially planned. Advertisement the program, dubbed Future Soldier, and described as the most radical restructuring in more than 20 years, is designed to transform the army into a more agile, integrated, lethal, expeditionary force, the defense secretary said. Transformation on this scale, every single unit will be affected in some way by this change. He told MPS. It will include an extra £8.6 billion in funding for equipment over the next 10 years. However, one of the Army's most expensive programs, the £5.5 billion IAX mini tank, is still blighted by problems that have yet to be resolved. Our Army will operate across the globe. Equipped with the capabilities to face down a myriad of threats from cyber warfare through to battlefield conflict, Mr. Wallace said. Fewer soldiers will mean some base closures, including Allen Brook Barracks at Topcliffe in North Yorkshire. A total of 33 site closures are planned, though officers said many of them are small such as a number of reserve centers and cadet training centers. There are winners as well as losers with some anticipated base closures being scrapped. This includes Glenporce Barracks in Edinburgh, and the retention of Brecon Barracks in Wales, a decision that will likely be seen as an attempt to woo devolved nations.